good day to everyone. Okay, so this time what we're going to have today will be all about square root. Okay, so for this week's video will be all about square root. So please stay tuned and keep on watching. Our topic for today's video will be all about Okay, principal square root. So, um, principal square root. Pag sinabi natin principal square root, ano ba yun? Paano ba kumuha ng principal square root? What does it mean? Everything else about principal square root is the principal square root rational or irrational. Okay, so let's have the following objectives. Objective number one. Identify if the given radicand is a perfect square or not perfect square. Objective number two, determine the principal square root of a given number. And for objective number three, tell whether the principal square root is a rational or irrational. Now, what is it? What is it all about principal square root? Okay, so take note of the following. If you see a radical expression like this, okay, so this one is a radical expression. If you see a radical expression like this, this symbol you see here is none other than but the root symbol or the radical sign. So you take note of that symbol, that is your radical sign, okay, and then the one that is found inside the radical sign is what you call your radicand. Okay, radicand daw ang tawag natin doon. And um, this is equal to, ang tawag natin dito ay principal root. So, ito yung target natin. Hahanapin natin kung ano ang sagot if you are given a radical expression like this. Okay? Now, paano ba natin babasahin to? To read that, that is read as the square root of 36 is 6. There are things that you need to be reminded of or that you have to take note when it comes to radical expression. So when we say radical expression, these are any expression with radical sign. So once na may makita kayong radical sign, then we have a radical expression. Ito, yan, yan yung sagot mismo sa given na radical expression na to. Okay? So, diba, we read this as the square root of 36. Now, um, in, in our square root of 36 here, Sometimes kasi, um, I don't know if you have encountered already na minsan hindi, hindi, ganing, hindi ganyang klase ng radical expression ang nakikita ninyo. Minsan may makikita kayong ganito, okay? Merong number na naan okay? Ang tawag natin dyan ay index. That is small number written right just above dito, okay? Um, nasa labas ng radical sign, ang tawag natin dyan ay index. There are times na hindi lang din 3 ang nakakita ninyo. Minsan, you see um, 4. Minsan, you see 5. Minsan, you see 6. Minsan, you see 7. Now, it depends upon sa given. Now, for this, um, you may wonder, ma'am, why is there no index there? Nasa na index dyan? Nawawala? Wala po ba talagang index? Ah, alam ko na. One po ang index niyan. No, no. Okay? Kaya siya tinawag, or di ba ang basa natin dyan kanina, the square root of 36. Binasa natin siya as square root of 36. And that square means that the invisible, there is an invisible index there which is 2. So, kapag square root ang pinag-uusapan, 
na wala kayong nakitang index dyan or kala nyo lang wala, there is. That is the um, special case of square root. Talagang invisible siya. But you know pretty well that there must be an index of 2 there. Okay? So, yun yung mga bagay na dapat ay tatandaan ninyo. Now, paano natin babasahin kung meron tayong halimbawa ganto 3 yung index, paano natin yung babasahin? Kung ang basa natin dito ay square root of 36, paano naman natin babasahin tong ganto Okay? We read it as the cube root. So, kapag 3 yung index, we read it as the cube root of 8. Kapag naman ang index ay 4, the fourth root of 16. So, kunwari, yan. Okay? So, that is how we are going to read. Also, another important thing that you need to be reminded of is that of this symbol. You do not have to be confused if nakakita kayo ng ganito. Okay? You see that? Um, um, yung radical expression natin dito, yung symbol niya ay parang meron pang isang extra line dito. Okay? Okay lang kahit wala na itong maliit na maliit siya. Pero this one, may ganun talaga siya. The while this one, wala siyang parang extra line na naan dito. Um, this symbol is our symbol for division. Okay? So, you do not be confused of the two different symbols we have. This symbol is our symbol for radical sign while this symbol is our symbol for division symbol. Okay? So those are the things that you need to be um, reminded of or you have to take note as we go on with our lesson. Okay? So let's analyze the following. Right? So, I have here three things. The first one is illustrative example. Number one, I'm going to present three um, examples. I mean, two examples first and then more examples in a table form. So, let's have the um, illustrative, illustrative example number one. Okay? For illustrative example number one, given the square root of 16. Question number one, is the radicand perfect square or not perfect square? Okay, so again, be reminded that there is an invisible index 2 there. Okay, but the question here is, for question number one, yung radicand daw ba kaya natin? Diba, you know that radicand, yung number na naandun sa loob ng radical sign. So, eto yun ha, ano man ang number na nakikiti ninyo dyan? Ano man na number, ha? Ano man na number, ang tawag natin dyan ay radicand. Now, the question is, is it a perfect square or not perfect square? To answer that, let's use a chessboard. So, here is our chessboard. Mapa madali nating maintindihan kung perfect square ba yung 16 or not by drawing a block of 16 squares. Okay, so let's draw. There's my drawing. Okay? So, tingnan natin kung 16 squares nga siya. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And you see, that's a square. Therefore, if we are going to be asked if the radicand 16 is a perfect square, then we say that it's a perfect square. Okay, may I just use the um, um, PS na lang for perfect square. Okay, so next, let's proceed on to the next question. What are the factors of the radicand? Diba, sinagot natin kanina na ang 16 ay perfect square. Ang tanong ngayon ay factors. What does it mean by factors? When we say factors, ibig sabihin daw nun ay ano daw yung number na yon? Mga number na yon, pwedeng dalawa, pwedeng tatlo, pwedeng apat. Pero since the index is 2, ba? The square root. Remember, the square root of 16. So, ang kailangan natin ay dalawang factor lang. 
Okay? So, itong index ang magsasabi kung ilang factors ang kailangan natin. Alright? Na kapag tinimes down natin sa... Sa kan pag tinimes down natin, di ba, factors, na pag sinabi natin yung factors, mga numbers na ita times Pag tinimes natin, ang sagot daw dapat ay yung radicand. Okay? So, let us go back again to the chessboard that we have a while ago. Di ba yan yung square natin? Paano natin madedetermine ang factors dyan? Okay? Di ba we have 16 squares in this block? Okay, so ang factors natin are or is determined by counting the squares from this. Okay, magbilang lang tayo ng square papunta doon at saka pababa. Ganun lang yun. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4. And then, um, going downwards naman, 1, 2, 3, 4. Four, alright. So you see, the factors of sixteen is determined by multiplying four and four because four times four is equal to sixteen. Okay? Kung naalala niyo yung multiplication table, please have it with you. Makakatulong yun ng malaki kung paano madedetermine ang factors ng given radicand. Okay? So let us go back again. So the factors of uh, the radicand 16 is 4 and 4. So kapag tinimes natin 'yan, that is equal to 16, 'di ba? All right. So let us now proceed to the next question. For question number 3, write the factors of the radicand in exponential form. Take note, ano bang ibig sabihin ng exponential form? Pag sinabi natin exponential form, maisusulat daw natin yung given factors natin. Ano ba yung factors nga ng 16 natin kanina? 16 is equal to what? 4 times 4, di ba? Okay, so yan yung kanina natin. Okay, now... Ang sabi daw, isulat mo daw siya in exponential form. When we say exponential form, that means may makikita kang exponent. Alright? Now, ganito yun. Um, you, to answer that or to, to write the factor of the radicand in exponential form, what you will just simply do is just to check kung magkaparehas ba sila. Kung magkapareha sila, ilan sila? Yun ang sunod na tanong, ha? Ilan sila? Dalawa. Yun, tumo ngayon na yun, yun ang magiging exponent mo. Nakuha ba? Remember exponent? The small number written right at the upper corner of a given base. Now, ano ang magiging base natin ngayon? Ang magiging base natin ay syempre, di ba, parehas 4 yan. So, ang magiging base ninyo ay 4. Nangangahulugan na ang ibig sabihin daw nito, ang ibig sabihin daw nito ay meron tayong dalawang 4 na tinime sa sarili niya. Which is just the same as this. Okay? Ito na ngayon yung exponential form ng factors natin. Yun. Nakuha nyo ba? Okay. Ilang 4? Ilang 4 ang nakita nyo? Yan. Diba? Dalawa. Kaya ang exponent ay 2. Uh, ano yung number na yun na magkaparehas? Yun bali yung magiging base mo. So, that is the exponential form of um, the given radical expression the square root of 16. Let's proceed to question number four. For question number four, oh, I'm sorry. What is the principal root of the square root of sixteen? Okay, so this is the square root of sixteen. It was just a typographical error. What is the principal root? So ngayon tinatanong na tayo kung ano daw yung principal root ng square root of sixteen. Pag sinabi natin principal root, ibig sabihin daw noon, hahanapin na natin kung ano yung sagot ng square root of sixteen. So para masagot natin to, pinaka importante dapat na alam nyo kung paano kumuha ng factors 
I know, I mean, alam mo kung perfect square ba siya o hindi. Pangalawa, alam mo kung paano kumuha ng factors. At pangatlo, dapat alam mo, dapat ma-change mo yung factors into exponential form. Pag na-change mo yun, therefore, makukuha natin kung ano ang sagot sa square root of 16. Yung sagot na yun ay walang iba kundi ang tawag natin doon ay principal root. Okay? So, balikan natin yung question number 3 kanina. Okay? ba diba sabi natin sa question number 3 natin, eto na yung exponential form natin. Nasan dyan ngayon ang sagot? Ang sagot ay walang iba kundi eto. Yan. Your base. Okay? So, ang sagot natin dito sa uh, sa sa square root of 16 is none other than but 4. Yun na yun. <laughs> okay? Yun na yun. As in, yun na yun. Kaila, yung base lang ang kukunin mo. Okay? 4. Bakit naging 4 nga kasi? Kasi nga, yung 4, pag times mo sa sarili niya, okay, eto yung explanation nun ha. Kasi yung 4, pag times mo sa sarili niya, ano ang sagot? 16. Dapat, babalik ka doon sa radicand mo. Kaya, 4 ang sagot. Eh ma'am, bakit po walang 2? Kasi etong 2 na to, yan yung, etong 4 squared na to, okay, 4 squared, that is, we read it as 4 squared, for all you know, etong 2 na to, that is the exponent, exponent naka-exponential form siya. So, we, don't, we are not going to write 2. In short, ang magiging sagot lang talaga natin dyan ay 4 lang. Y ano, ibali yung pinaka, kaya nga siya tinawag na principal root. Yung pinaka root lang, yung pinaka ugat lang talaga. Okay? So, next, let's have question number 5. For question number 5, here is the question. Oh, I'm sorry again. This may be because of the copy-paste. Ito po ay 16, ha? 16. Okay? Is the principal root of the square root of 16 rational or irrational? Okay? So, ang sagot ay madaming reasons. Number 1. Kung yung given radical expression mo, okay, ay perfect square, wala nang duda yon. The answer is rational. Agad, okay? Next, another reason. Kung yung factors ay magkaparehas, then it is a rational. Another reason. Kung much change more into exponential form then it is a rational and the last reason is kung may makukuha kang principal root therefore that i mean kung may makukuha kang exact whole number which is uh, na, na principal root therefore that is a rational so those are the reasons kung bakit mo siya Okay, kung bakit yung sagot, di ba yung sagot na yung sagot natin sa principal root kanina na the square root of 16 is 4. Ang tinatanong dito ay yung principal root ba na 4 ay rational or irrational? Kita mo naman whole number yan. So therefore, that's a rational. Okay? Kailan siya magiging irrational? I'm going to present to you by the next illustrative example. So I hope you learn in this example number 1.